Star Shuri Whitfield is certainly no stranger to the headlines. But late last night, news of Sheree's prison bay Tyrone Gilliams getting early release definitely came out of nowhere, leaving fans feeling some type of way. It's Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video, and today let's talk about this Real Housewives of Atlanta OG Sheree Whitfield and how this lockdown got her lover out of lockup. Before we chat about how Tyrone's early release is shaping up to be quite the plot twist for Sheree's future on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now before we get started sipping this tea, go ahead and like this video, click that subscribe button, and you already know you want to hit that bell button so you officially join me and my binge watchers and are first to get updates about binge worthy videos like this. Sheree's taste in men is confusing, but if she has found love in a prison bay, I am all the way here for her. Now, I was minding my business yesterday when late into the wee hours of the night, I got a text from my friend Michelle from Straight From The A, sending me an article that she wrote about Sheree Whitfield in this Prison Bay update. Now, I definitely went through several different emotions. I laughed, I like gave the side eye, and then I was just like, hey girl, I guess love is love. But ultimately, I landed on just shaking my head in disapproval because my heart just says that this is a really sad situation. Apparently, Sheree has left the chateau and booked a one-way flight to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania to be with Tyrone. Now, due to the pandemic, her prison bay was awarded an early release and is spending the rest of his sentence in a halfway house in Philadelphia. Now, in case you guys missed it, Tyrone was originally scheduled to be released from prison on November 14th, 2022, so this is quite the early release. Now, TNZ, who apparently purchased exclusive photos for this story from Sheree, is reporting that Sheree has been helping him acclimate back into life on the outside. And I was shook that they confirmed rumors that Sheree had called things off in 2018 after she caught all that smoke after fans of the show and her castmates had a lot to say about her situation when we watched things play out on The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 10. Citing Tyrone losing his early release appeal as the official reason for the split. However, now that Sheree's single and Tyrone has scored this early release due to Rona V spreading in prison, he says that the time was just right for him to rekindle this old flame. Now y'all already know this story wore me out. And the pettiest part of the story was Tyrone shutting down marriage rumors, talking about he can see them getting married down the line, but right now, he has no plans to pop the question just yet. Ooh, child, the nerve. Now, after I sipped this tea in the late night, I hopped onto my community tab here on YouTube where I'm able to talk directly to my subscribers in a petty mood captioning my post saying, Woo chow, I know Andy is salivating over this storyline, dot, 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 with the eye roll emoji. And y'all had time joining in on the conversation saying, this is a classic case of a woman showing how to make the wrong decision. Hashtag self-awareness. Hashtag love thyself. Before another binge watcher definitely threw shade saying, don't go back girl, the feds are watching dot dot dot. And we still trying to figure out how she's paying for this chateau. <laughs> love and peace, Sheree. And it was her spelling Sheree's name wrong for me. <laughs> Before another Nini fan chimed in saying, I know everyone deserves a second chance to turn over a new leaf, but she ain't gonna be able to do nothing with him. He has a criminal record, so that leaves her taking care of his behind. And another binge watcher kept it all the way real saying, another grown black woman making grown decisions about their lives. Hashtag it happens. 
before Robin joined the chat saying, So Sheree coming back season 14, huh? Exclamation point. Everyone deserves a second chance. Take it slow and watch him. And always believe what you are being shown! Exclamation point. Now, although we are all probably still like split down the middle about this news, naturally, I have to wonder, does this news make Sheree Whitfield eligible for the next season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta? On one hand, I already feel like the show has already slummed quite enough lately. But on the other hand, I feel like these girls have already low-key summoned Tyrone. And it's only right for him to finally get the chance, now that he's free-ish, to defend himself. Go ahead and fix y'all faces. Now, I already know that y'all remember in season 10 when Bravo was definitely picking up the tab on all of them collect calls from Sheree's boo, Tyrone. Nene said he was a con artist. What's the issue with Tyrone? I don't have anything so I need to other talk to Ella you about. I had forgotten just how much they spoke his name and just how much this storyline contributed to RHOA season 10 until I went back into the archives and I suggest y'all do the same. Jeray's taste in men is confusing, but if she has found love in a prison day, I am all the way here for her. I met him before she did. He's a con artist. Did he con you? Absolutely not, I'm too smart for that. Oh, okay. They were calling this man everything but a child of God and making fun of him when they were on that girl's trip. And I remember being so floored when it was revealed that Nene Leakes and Tyrone had shared some sort of history before he ended up with Sheree. And we never really got around to finding out for sure what that history was. But he definitely made it clear that Nene did not want any smoke and she knew better than to play with him. I should say this, Nene would never want to speak anything negatively about me. She don't want to go down that road. And in true Nene fashion, from this Nene Leaks wig that I'm wearing, <laughs> I decided to be petty and go back into the archives, and I dug up some old tweets from Housewives, throwing shade about Tyrone not getting his early release. And I was hooting and hollering so much that my dog will not stop hiding from me. Yeah, back in 2018, everybody was shook when Tyrone did not get his early release, with Kenya first in line to their tomatoes tweeting, Trey, it's really sad that after I help you return your lost sick dog to you last week, that you would make disparaging comments about my supportive, successful, loving, educated, unincarcerated husband's love for me. In the words of Nene Leaks, you never win when you play dirty. Hashtag I stay winning. And nope, 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 nope. We're not gonna talk about how that tweet did not age well. We're gonna focus on the shade and pettiness at hand. And I won't be apologizing, period. <laughs> With Sheree jumping on Twitter to defend herself, saying, I'm so over people thinking they can play dirty and talk reckless and be immune, dot, dot, dot. Well, you're not. I've allowed many things to be said and tweeted over the years without a response. But lately, I got time. Before Nene tag teamed with Kenya tweeting, they mad cause Nene was right about La Ron with the twirling <laughs> um, cartwheel emojis and the crying laughing face emoji before she tweeted again talking about wig filled, <laughs> not wig filled, <laughs> and cigarette breath tried to discredit me all season long, exclamation point. I pursued La Ron, I stopped. Wait. Needy be using these apps and maybe cutting out tweets. And I can't dig into the archives for the rest of the tweets. <laughs> I don't know what she said. But I imagine she said something about, and I allegedly stalked Lyron. <laughs> okay, Sheree, I wanted to know, do you think Nene is starting to feel irrelevant? That's why she's so bitter? <gasps> you said it, girl, not me. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. I'm not saying that Sheree needs to be back in with the full peach, but all I'm saying is, Candy, girl, 
at least invite Sheree to one of these girls trips because we still got questions and we still deserve some answers. Comment right now and let me know if you guys feel like Sheree Whitfield should have the chance to return to the show for season 14 so that we can watch her Prison Bay romance fully play out or if you guys feel like she'd have a better chance of landing a gig on Love After Lockup. Because all these bitches is my son. <laughs> Now, I did not expect this tea to be dropped on my desk this week, but I just had to come talk to you guys about this mess. Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I know that we are all just sitting around waiting for Sunday night to see who else was in that room with Bolo. Stressed. <laughs> But I can just hear Andy Cohen drooling right now over this potential storyline for Sheree. And if you listen closely, you can definitely hear Nene Leak somewhere throwing shade and shaking her head. Thanks again so much for sipping tea with me today. I will catch y'all prison bays on the next one. <laughs>